Hey guys, this is Frankie Slauson, and uh, doing a quick little review on the movie I just got done watching called Fox Fur. And it's a movie by none other, none other than, well, you can't even see the name, uh, Damon Packard. He just did this, uh, he just sent me a copy of this film, uh, sent me it on DVD. And I just got done watching it, and uh, I gotta say, it was actually not not a bad movie. It was kind of one of those movies, I could say, in, in <laughs> without being too weird, I guess I could say it was hard to follow. Uh, I The plot was a little confusing, because there were, you know, I'm sure there was a story to it, but I just don't know kind of what, I guess. But, ne never, uh, nevertheless... It was a pretty good movie. Uh, only about an hour long with a bunch of bonus features. And uh, it, it was definitely something that I recommend getting uh, from David Packard. I'll, I'll send you his uh, Facebook page. And uh, you can you know, add him as a friend if you like and uh, do it like that. But uh, he might be able to send you guys copies or you can purchase a copy. But the movie Fox Fur uh, is about, well, it, it reminded me almost like The Hunger Games. Uh, the Hunger Games meet like uh, the movie uh, Close Encounters of the Third Kind because it was so hard to follow. You know, I mean, I, I tried my best to follow it, but the one thing that I can say I liked about it was the uh, the music. The music was pretty good. Uh, other than that, the story itself and the quality of the uh, the movie was was uh, very good. Uh, it was in high definition, it looked nice on my high def TV. <laughs> But I just wanted to do a quick little review. I think overall it's uh, it, it was a pretty good 400 light years in the making. Uh, a world where fantasy ends and survival begins. In ultra stereo. <laughs> I like how, at least in the case, how David made it look kind of retro in a way. With the old 70s, uh, kind of the 70s look or the early 80s look to it. But... Uh, and I'm not familiar with any of the cast because they're all young, upcoming adult or actors who and actresses who probably haven't done a whole lot. But uh, it was, they they did a pretty good job with this film. Uh, good special effects and uh, good dialogue overall, and uh, good music. And that's all I can really say. Hey, I'm Frankie Slauson, and in the next video that you see uh, uh, next week, uh, my second guest uh, for the Frankie Slauson show will be uh somebody who who uh uh was not in back to the future but uh somebody who uh who 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 was able to he and his wife were built a time machine and they a replica time machine DeLorean and are going worldwide or well not worldwide but around the United States of America uh to raise money for the Michael J. Fox uh, Parkinson's Research uh, Foundation and to find a cure and, uh, well, you'll find out in the interview, uh, he, the, the guy, he tells a very interesting story. I'm not going to tell you who it is yet. You'll have to wait till it go, goes up live. Uh, the only thing is that I will tell is that we're going to do a cross-promotion. I'm not going to say what yet, but, uh, when, when, the, when the items arrive that this guy was nice enough to send me uh, via the BackToTheFuture.com website and with approval, uh, we're going to do something fun. Uh, as soon as, uh, as soon as I get the, uh, the items, then I'll, I'll, uh, put the, uh, interview, edit the interview and put it up and all that for you guys to watch. Uh, we've got a couple other guests, uh, well, one other guest that'll be coming up later on in the month that I'll be interviewing live, face-to-face, -face, uh, interview with a famous, uh, news reporter from WDAZ. If for any of you guys who are local that know who, uh, uh, that, uh, follow WDAZ, uh, Channel 8 is out of Grand Forks, North Dakota. Uh, I, I can't wait to do this. It's going to be fun. A buddy and I uh, are going to go and uh, film it and uh, this Thursday. So, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed my short little review uh, of Foxfur. And, uh, yeah, hit David Packard up. He's the director. You can probably uh, you can purchase a copy from him. All right. Bye-bye.